Hello everyone, this is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Wednesday, May 25th with a market recap video. We are first going to analyze the current market environment, we're going to look at some other markets, sector analysis, and then finish off with some individual names. Now let's jump right, right into things today, S&P 500 SPY ETF closed up 68 basis points on the day, seeing some nice follow through to yesterday's breakout. Now, how did we get here? Let's take a look at where we came in to this week. And actually, let's backpedal a little bit further into last week. And and hopefully, you guys have not been blindsided here uh, completely by this rally that we've been seeing, by this recent strength. I think we've been pretty on top of it. If you go back and watch the last few videos we put out, our weekend newsletter, our blog posts, we've all been sort of uh, pointing to this this confirmed strength here and this uh, this this firming in the market, um, and of course we had no idea, no way uh, to predict that this would happen. This type of strength that we've seen the past two days, but we've certainly seen signs that you probably don't want to be short the market, and you probably want to be or have at least some long exposure now. Let's take a look at where and, and sort of why we started you know, getting on that train of thought because throughout the second half of April here and first couple weeks of May, we were sort of pessimistic about the market, looking for a potential correction, looking for a potential pullback and a snap of support. Um, but the real key uh, amongst other things was, was Thursday of last week right here. We've talked about this bar quite a bit, so I don't want to belabor it anymore, but uh, this was the this was the false breakdown. This was your first real clue that perhaps um, there is uh, you know some strength here, or there's enough people off sides, or you know sentiment's bad enough. Whatever the case is, it's a time to take notice, and that was the first clue here on last Thursday. Now. Immediately following that up Friday, we saw confirmation higher. That's how we closed the week. Monday, we came in very low volume, inside day, choppy action. Didn't really lead to a whole lot. Couldn't really gauge too much off of Monday. But yesterday was your second clue and very second important day to take notice because it was the first time really, I'd argue, going back to the beginning of April where the bulls actually took out some resistance, some meaningful resistance. And that was this trend line extending all the way back from mid-April which were the highs here um, in 2016, and we broke above that line yesterday. Uh, so that was a very important day. That was a day to take notice. And then today, your third clue was the follow through to that move. The push higher didn't even get back down to um, inside of yesterday's range at all. We just made new highs. Couldn't close at the highs, um, but new new recent highs in this leg. And you can see the 8 and 20 moving averages starting to curl up um, aggressively. So that is what we're looking at if we zoom out here this long trend line that you see here is actually the is the trend line that extends off of the all-time highs to the s p 500 we discussed this yesterday in, la in yesterday's video but suddenly now as we start to poke our head above here and clear above 210 um, the run to all-time highs which is only about one and a quarter percent away at this point um, becomes very real and you have um, this this you know fear of missing out rally that could ignite here and this is all on a backdrop where the Fed is saying they are more likely to raise rates this year, potentially in June, uh, than, than the market had, you know, been believing, you know, prior to just the past week or so. So it's ironic how, you know, the news and price action can sort of go in, in disarray and what the, you know, sort of majority thinks um, and what's really happening in the price action. Uh, and of course, you know, as, as we all know, price is, is, you know, the truth and what we should all be following and paying attention to. And as we've just discussed here, it's telling a story of strength and emerging strength. Again, it doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. We have very real, very significant significant resistance up here so we could just be in a morphing into a bigger range that's going to take place between perhaps 204 and 212 that's a very real possibility that we're just climbing to the top end of these April highs. But at the same time, you have to, you know, you have to look at some other supplemental facts like breadth and sector, you know, uh, you know, uh, participation that we're going to look at in just a little bit. Um, so right now, I think um, you know you need to be at least you know constructive here, have some exposure, uh, have your you know have your stops in place for sure. But just you know, don't be stubbornly fighting this right now. At least in my opinion, I'm not seeing any reason to do that. Um, it all again, and, and it's all dependent on your time frame and strategy. Uh, but from from my standpoint, we took out resistance. We we're seeing follow through. We're seeing all the right signs. 
that we need to see for um, continuation higher. Uh, it doesn't mean we're going to get there in a straight line. We have Yellen speaking on Friday. That could cause some volatility. Maybe it back and you know we we come back here and retest this break that breakout level around 206, 207. Um, but you know for now things look pretty good. Where position long, we've we're we're still building exposure here. We've had exposure and we've been rotating in and out of names. So we'll get into some of those later in this video. If we look at some of the other indices here, IWM, uh, very similar here, broke out uh, really yesterday. Had a little more strength Monday actually. Uh, it, it was flat on the day, but you could see it was holding at the real upper echelon of sort of the range there from Friday. Tried to poke higher, couldn't do that. And then yesterday, of course, was the real big breakout expansion bar to the upside. And you can see it looks like we're firmly in route higher to retest these highs here in April. And the Qs, very similar situation here. Uh, yesterday, big breakout bar to the upside, 2% up day, seeing follow through today. And it looks like this market is in route also to retest test these April highs in here. So everything sort of jiving, all the, all the cylinders kind of firing here, all the sectors uh, or major indices rather are in agreement that um, the, you know the nearby near-term resistance was snapped and we are in the process of heading higher. Now let's look at some other markets and then we'll get into some of the sector analysis. We'll start with TLT. Uh, TLT, we're still short this. We've been talking about our short position here that we got into uh, back here on this day um, on Tuesday, on Monday of last week. Uh, and and you can see it's finally starting to take more shape here and starting to roll over. We tried to perk up here on Monday of this week. It got us a little nervous, but um, uh, ultimately Tuesday it started to roll back over and today we're coming back down to the lows. Certainly not out of the woods yet, but looking for more of a rollover here, um, getting back down to the lower end of this range. We've scaled some profits already. Basically exactly where we closed today is where we scaled some profits and uh, we're looking for further downside action in TLT. Remember the weekly chart still is holding up still is constructive. This is a bullish pattern. We're just playing a range here and we're looking for um, some more follow through to the downside. Uh, next, let's look at USO. This is a market we're also long. We've discussed this position in the past videos, making new uh, highs here for 2016 today, up almost 1.78% or exactly 1.78%. You can see it's kind of trading higher here in this wedge. See if it can start to push up. Uh, we have this gap that we talked about back from December. Uh, perhaps USO is going to go be line and fill that but USO so far pay, uh, paying off right now as a long position UNG still isn't doing too much 77 basis point move to the upside today needs to get above this trend line get above seven dollars then you finally start getting something going in UNG gold coming back down to the bottom end of this range here uh, weekly chart still very healthy coming back down and testing the 20 period EMA here on the weekly chart for the first time see if it can find some support there and these lows here back from the beginning of April and then finally silver uh, you can see going to the daily chart here, coming back down, just crossing the 50% retracement. Um, and it's just kind of mulling sideways here. Let's see how it acts, see if it can find resistant, um, some, I'm sorry, a higher low here, support uh, around this 1550 level weekly chart. You can see still looks still looks constructive, broke out of this pattern, coming back down on sort of a healthy break, at, break uh, retracement here. I apologize um, and, and still looks pretty good all things considered just once you want to see that stabilize soon if you're a silver bull uh, and then finally the US dollar which uh, has gave back a little bit of that recent strength here uh, today down 28 basis points but still the weekly chart looks good monthly chart even better uh, let's see how it closes out the month uh, you know which which only has a few more trading days left in it now getting into some of the sector analysis um, there's a lot that's working. Uh, XLK technology, right? We talked about the NASDAQ 100, the Qs. That looks strong. Um, XLB, this is the home builders breaking out to new recent highs here for 2016. You can see um, taking out uh, just about closing. Maybe it didn't make new closing highs. Maybe the 27th here was a little bit higher. But you can see certainly off to the races, support held right when it needed to, right when things looked like it, like they were at its worst here back on the 18th. Uh, that magical bid uh, came into play the support held and we launched higher so home builders looking good healthcare uh, particularly IBB and even better XBI which is the equal weighted biotech you can see um, it actually is starting to emerge and break out of this major trend line that that's coming off of the all-time highs here in XBI you can see it now 
pushing up here, coming back to the April highs. That's constructive. Financials are in play right now, breaking a major level as well. Uh, and so is uh, energy, which is which is obviously um, largely helped out by the rising uh, all-time highs in crude here for 2016. These got, uh, th this sector here is also participating. So there's a lot that is working. Uh, utilities just moving sideways here, uh, as you would expect, is the more aggressive sort of cyclical plays and names and sectors kind of get rotation into them. Uh, IYT, you know, also, um, you know, just kind of moving sideways here, not as aggressively leading. Uh, discretionary, still want to see that get a little bit better, but um, just kind of mulling sideways. These are the guys that are that are lagging on a relative basis. And then the industrials still haven't really caught up. Again, none of these charts are, are particularly bad or very bearish. They're just the underperformers um, amongst, um, you know, a, a lot of leaders right now. So that's sort of the breakdown there. If we're starting to look at some individual names, we'll start with Apple, which had uh, an impressive last week and an impressive this week. We're into the earnings gap, uh, getting close to that $100 round level. You can see we had that nice little fake out bar breakdown here a couple weeks ago pushed back above it aggressively uh, and we're and we're launching higher here weekly chart still shows consolidation and a downtrend but um, it's certainly trying to repair that action we're finally starting to see maybe some support hold now going into a longer term trading range so constructive signs in Apple Facebook uh, it's been a little sluggish here it's not quite leading us higher um, it is holding the support so far and it's just kind of moving sideways and and you know it deservedly so it, it's had a very, very impressive run over the past several months and, and years, really, at this point. Uh, so Facebook, let's just see how it goes, but it's it's not rip-roaring out in front of the pack right now, and neither is Amazon, even though um, it's had a monster run as well. It deserves some some time to take its breath here. It's still, I mean, just, just a real close shot away from all-time highs, and this can easily start ramping, I'm sure, at any moment now, but it's not off to the races leading this market higher. Um, but it, it has been. So again, very constructive. I'm not bearish on Facebook or Amazon at all. Just just acknowledging that they're not the pack leaders right now, uh, but they could be in the coming weeks. Uh, so just keep an eye on them. Twitter uh, is emerging and is, is a little more of an interesting pattern here. Yesterday had a downgrade, had that shakeout below, making new all-time lows yesterday right here on this on this bar, and it did manage to actually reverse that action and close higher. We took a position yesterday yesterday on uh, in Twitter uh, and we do continue to hold that to, uh, into today and, and into tomorrow so we do have a position in Twitter that we got into yesterday on this reversal so far things are looking pretty good um, and, and we're gonna see if it can start to take out these highs here if it can take out this trend line then Twitter's in business to potentially come back in and challenge that gap still very damaged long term though so you got to be cautious there make sure you have your stops in place in Twitter uh, Alibaba we talked about this one and this one had a real big rug pull today and it was in the news on I believe some SEC in investigations I, I'm not sure what the exact story is but um, this was a brutal sort of fake out bar here because um, this is one that we were eyeing luckily we did not take this but um, this is always tough when you buy a nice text textbook kind of breakout here and then you have that nice um, you know you, you got a big story that develops overnight to really put um you know rug pull this and and everybody that tried to buy this breakout yesterday has to get out of the way here um if you if you're buying for a breakout you know you really have to step aside here because the breakout certainly is no longer intact uh again it's going to come down to your strategy time frame but in general, that breakout um, is, is not happening anytime soon. Netflix uh, also um, and been ramping pretty aggressively here recently. Look at this, um, you know, four big strong, uh, you know, 2% days here, 2% uh, plus days by the bulls uh, for the past four days, getting back above $94, $95. That's constructive. Uh, and then finally, one uh, I want to just bring to your attention, IBM breaking a very significant downtrend line here. Uh, and this one had a strong move off these February lows consolidated very cleanly and healthy here uh, and it made a nice big surge today up 2% this looks good here big blue uh, might be ready for another leg higher so keep an eye on that one so hope this video helps as always thank you guys for watching and I will catch you next time